okay one more thing i want to add here is that uh, this is for mac and linux so if you have a windows machine then you can run os.chdir open close and inside that let's say you are having files in d drive so d drive then backward slash and then the name of the directory for example pandas okay so this will change the directory in the d drive in the pandas directory this is for windows because windows and uh, linux or mac path patterns are different so now we got our uh, files so the pandas actually contain two types of uh, structures so one is series so series is a uh, used for one dimensional array and uh, and another one is data frame so data frame is used for uh, it is a data structure which uh, uses which helps us to store tables in the form of rows and columns so it is a two dimensional array so we will use data frames mostly people use data frames because it helps us to store tables in the form of two dimensional arrays and it is also very faster because uh, under the hood pandas use uh, c and uh, python for efficient programming so now uh, we will import our csv file so let's say our variable name we will take data underscore csv then we'll uh, equate it to we'll call now the pd that is pandas short form then read csv read underscore csv so inside that we'll give the name of the file so we'll import the csv so we'll copy this and we'll paste it here so this should be in a single uh, inverted commas and now if we run this cell so it is imported if you say data csv it is showing us the data frame content so we have one two three four five six six columns and these columns are called as attributes and these rows are called as tuples okay and uh, you can see the species the petal width centimeter petal length centimeters sepal width centimeter and sepal length centimeter Okay, so we'll, so it is a data set of 150 rows into six columns as you can see it is not showing us completely it is uh, hiding it because the space will not be enough for showing us the all the values if you if you look at it carefully some values are not there so these values are uh, called as uh, not a null so if values are not there so what uh, pandas will do automatically it will fill these values with not a null operator okay and some values you can see are uh, um, like missing values or uh, not proper values so some values are uh, triple hash some values are double question mark so i will show you how to replace these uh, uh, values by uh, numeric ones okay and also we'll fill these empty values so now we have one uh, extra column id so we'll remove this so for that we'll go down okay so for that we'll call that uh, data frame data csv and in that we'll pass pd dot read csv so while reading only if you pass one more parameter that is uh,
index underscore column that is call index underscore call equal to zero so what this will do this will not consider this first column it is index column and if we run it and now if you show it you can see the extra column is removed so what pandas does it automatically puts that column so we can remove that by and we can set the index column as sample length sandwich or the first attribute of the table so this is how we can remove the first column or the we can set the index column so if you want to set index column as uh, one two you can set so now we have done that we'll uh, i will show you how to replace the um, improper values that is a uh, question mark and uh, triple hash so we can remove these junk values by passing them as a list to the parameter na underscore values so for that we will cop copy this command and i will put comments also to replace to set index column okay and now to remove or replace the better word would be to replace the junk values okay so for this we'll again call this statement data csv equal to pd dot read csv the name of the file and then we'll just take this down and we'll just add one more parameter that is na underscore sorry any underscore values and this takes a list so in that list we'll pass the parameters so now we have two parameters that we want to replace so one is double question mark and another one is um, triple hash so if we now run this and we can check it so for that we'll type data csv dot head so that we can get only starting five values so you can see the improper data is removed or filled with not a null values so earlier if you see we had third row second column we had improper data so now third row filled with not a null values so the the junk values are filled with uh, not a null and we can confirm that by running the or by calling the data frame directly so we can see all the junk value that is uh, question mark question mark and uh, triple hash are removed so now i'll show you how you can import excel file so import excel so for that we take a data frame excel sx okay equal to now we'll run p dot read excel and inside that we'll take the name of the file so we had iris data sample dot it should be excel sx and 
you know if you have seen the excel sheet they have uh, different sheets so this is one uh, sheet you can see the bottom this is google sheet actually then uh, sheet 2 will be having other values so like that we have different sheets so if we have like that different sheets then we can uh, select the sheet with, uh, by name so for that we'll call sheet underscore name equal to so we'll call iris data so this sheet is already there in this excel sheet so we are just selecting that sheet so if we run that and uh, now if we run data excel xx we just take first five values you can see the it is loaded in the data frame and here also you can see there are uh, this uh, junk values so you can remove that by using the same na values equal to this method so i hope you can do that and uh, if you want to import uh, txt file so for that we can just call import uh, just text files so importing text files is also easy you just use data and uh, txt one equal to pd dot read table so for text files we have to call read table function and inside that we'll pass the name of the file dot txt okay what i have done okay inside that we'll call txt okay, so that is also now imported so if you just dot head it shows us the values so what happened in here is the all columns read all columns read and stored in a single column of data frame suppose in the sepal length centimeter so what they have done they have created one single column and inside that they have stored all the values so to avoid this what you can do is you can use delimiter or separator variable so for that what you have to do just add SAP so this uh, SAP is the default uh, uh, this separator so by default they have a tab in between them so how you can define tab is uh, backward slash and uh, T and now if you run it is now properly taken So tab delimiter might always not work. So you can also try with. Okay, we got error. Let's say okay. So we should not put it like this. Okay, and now see, we got the values properly in the proper columns. So in the separator, in the very separator attribute, we have to pass a blank white space so that uh, it will properly fill in all the columns and one more way is that you can use either way so this way is uh, you can use delimiter or we'll use white space instead so you can see it is properly put up now so these are the two ways in which you can do and uh, now you have, you have seen how to import different types of files so other uh, commonly used uh, delimiters are commas and blanks so you can also use commas if you have that uh, uh, data set which has, which has commas in between the values if you try comma and run it will give same because it is not taking comma so it only takes the blank space and 
include let's say commas and blanks also tab so So this is how you import different types of files using pandas.